Regular visitors to Slimbridge will know that there are six types of flamingo and you're really lucky here that you can see all of those six types. And we differentiate the flamingos, we tell them apart, by their different plumage colours and what they eat. Now as we head into winter, we're going to focus on three of those species of flamingo that really like the cold. Because lots of people think that flamingos are tropical birds and they're only found in hot climates. But actually, many of the species can live perfectly well in really chilly temperatures. So this Wild Watch is going to focus on the three species that are really, really specialised to high altitude conditions. We often find them at the tops of mountains where the weather temperature and the water conditions can get to below freezing. These three cold weather flamingos are the Chilean flamingo, the Andean flamingo and the Puna or James's flamingo. We've got one of the James's flamingo left here at WWT Slimbridge and he's affectionately known as Mr James. How do you spot the difference then between these three species? Well, they have different shades of pink colouring in their feathers and on their legs. And they also have different pigments on their bills. The Chilean flamingo is the one that has the salmon pink feathers and the really distinctive grey legs with pink joints, particularly its ankle joints, which are a really, really bright red as the bird ages. Mr. James has a bright banana yellow beak and a small black part of his beak as it attaches to his head. And he also has beautiful long scarlet plumes that drop down over his tail. And the Andean flamingos are the most brightly coloured in terms of the number of colours that they have in their feathers of all species of flamingo. They have the most varied mix of pinks, oranges and purples. And they also have really distinctive black triangular wedges towards their tails. So these distinguishing features allow you to spot the difference between the three species of flamingo that like it best in cold weather. Not only do these different species have different colours, they also feed in different ways as well. The Chilean flamingo is more likely to eat animal material, such as teeny tiny prawns, and the Andean and the James's flamingos are herbivorous, eating really tiny microscopic algae. And the reason they live in these cold water wetlands, high up in mountain ranges, is because there's no other competition for food. They can have all of those wetlands to themselves, and therefore it allows them to live in peace and quiet in just the flocks of those birds. And we see in the wild mixed flocks of the Chilean flamingo, the Andean flamingo, and the James's flamingo all together. So Mr. James and his Andean flamingo friends here is a perfect replica of what we would find in South America. So on your next visit to WWT Slimbridge, even if it's cold, don't be surprised if you see some flamingos outside. They're not all tropical birds. Some of them are really quite happy when the weather turns that little bit more chilly.